Y'all, I am, <laughs> hello, first of all, my bad. I, actually, welcome back to another month that is clearly rolling over from the last month. Today is June 1st. Welcome to June. I'm Alexia Nicole. We out here in these real estate streets. So if you watch the end of last month's vlog, or if you watch last month's vlog period, you'll know that I am currently struggling with tenants that are occupying my um, client's home. She's the landlord. My eye has been twitching. It's probably been making my nerves bad. Um, and her tenants are just... <sighs> y'all, y'all, go watch the last vlog. Anyways, I'm about to call... Um, my client, give her an update. Hi, Alexia. Hi, Don. How are you? Okay, thank you. So I just showed um, the first client. We have one at 5:30 and one at six. So I'm still actually here, but I just okay. showed them, and they really liked the house. But they were hoping they were going to be able to use the study as a fourth bedroom. But he says it's probably not going to work out. But other mm -hmm. than that, they love the house. Um, okay. So the next person that's coming, um, when I spoke with him, he said it's it's just him, an older gentleman by himself. He was moving back yeah. home, but his con he has his job extended a contract or something. So he mm -hmm. he kind of sounds like a better fit um, for okay. what you're looking for. Um, mm -hmm. When you spoke with your <laughs> tenants, did mm -hmm. they tell you that they were not going to let people into the primary bedroom? No. Okay, yeah. so they would not let us see the third bedroom or the primary bedroom due to them having oh, personal no. things in there. Um, well, they're here. She, they're in the she house. Can walk, she can walk with you through there. And she I mean, did. Our house has to be shown. And she did. She did walk. She, you know, everywhere with us except for outside. Um, okay. So I did. So were they able to see? the primary bedroom no i didn't i didn't want to give any pushback <laughs> so i just said no okay. that's not gonna work the entire house has to be shown all right well the entire house i mean if she wants to walk if she wants to go with you fine but she cannot restrict rooms from being shown yes everything has because I would not be renting someplace without seeing what's there. So she, it, it has to be shown. Especially the primary bedroom. You of know, course. The, of I don't, course. I don't know what's in that. Because people need to see room sizes and, of course. and things of, of that course. nature. So. You know, she, she'll just have to go with you in the bedroom if she thinks somebody's going to take something. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. <sighs> I mean... Just tell her, come along. But they have to see the rooms. All the rooms. Yeah. Do you want, I'm going to go ahead and give her a call. I would prefer because that, you know, I mean, they yeah. um, you, they already have the same energy towards me as they did last time, so yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. trying to keep it as peaceful as possible. Right, right. Let me, let me give her a call. Okay. That's not any sense at all. No, it doesn't. You know, I, I they're both here. Darian is here and she is here. You know, nobody is nobody's even touching anything. So I'm not sure what they could possibly have in there that they need to hide from people. But, but they're not sort of not allowing anyone in the master bedroom. No, they're not. She she when I oh, when I walked in, she said, Well, there'll be two rooms that we can't see and I said uh, so yeah if you could just give her no, a call yeah let me give her a call right now it doesn't make any sense at all okay thank you okay thanks bye yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> Those tenants, by God, by God. But this last gentleman that I just showed, he's a older, 68-year-old Caucasian man. It'd just be him in the house by himself. He seems like the perfect tenant. He was like, I do wish this was a little closer to my golf club. So he asked me to find him some things. I'm a little closer out there, but he said he's still going to put in his application for this one. So I'm just like, please, Mr. Bob, just apply. Let everything be good. And we can just be done showing this house. Because every time I, if I have to keep going and showing, y'all know I'm not the only one that shows it, but they don't like me. So if I have to keep going over there and the energy be the energy that it is, I don't want to. I just need to get this house leased out and done. Done, 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 done. Okay, that's it. Anyways, tomorrow's my birthday. I am going out tonight with Next Gen, my brokerage. You know, we, we celebrate everything around here. We are diversity, honey. Um, it's June 1st, so of course, Pride begins today. It's Pride Month. So we're having, oh, my system. We're having an event at this place. <laughs> called Chapman and Kirby. It's like a, it's a restaurant bar, I guess. Um, there's going to be a drag show tonight and the proceeds from buying tickets to go to the event are going towards um, the Montrose Center, which has something to do with the LGBTQIA plus community. Hopefully I didn't forget no letters. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that tonight to bring in my birthday tomorrow I'm not working that's on it okay that's that on that <laughs> hey y'all it's Saturday June 4th um I just submitted two offers for a client Kiyosha I did not actually go see the houses with her today um kind of still celebrating my birthday and it's my brother's birthday so anywho I wasn't able <laughs> to go look at the houses with her, but she sent me the properties this morning and a few of them had open houses today. And a few of them were also calling for final offers by tomorrow at like 5 p.m. And tomorrow, I'm still going to be doing some birthday celebrations. So I was like, hey, sis, just go to the open house. If you like them, let me know. And when I get back home tonight, I'll type up the offers. She liked two of them a lot, one a bit more. Um, so we submitted so we submitted some pretty competitive offers, nothing too crazy as far as like above asking. One of the homes was asking price 339, the one that she liked the most. Um, asking 339. We offered 351. Um, she's approved for $350,000. Um, but she also has a VA loan, so it's um, zero down for VA loans, um, and she has some cash saved. So I was like, all right, let's just go $1 above, you know, just the market has slowed down a lot. Like, so I still don't know of any homes receiving like 20, 30 offers like they were like a couple months ago. You're still receiving multiple offers, but a lot less. So I'm I'm fingers crossed that our chances are really good. Um so we went what is that? 11 12 12,000 dollars above asking. My math not math and tonight y'all my brain is tired, but I think that's about 12,000 dollars or something above asking price. Um I also suggested that she goes a little bit more than the 1% of the earnest money, so we did 5,000 dollars in earnest money. Um, which y'all know earnest money is like your security deposit type of deal. Um, and you can, you have the potential to lose earnest money if you don't have a bomb realtor or a lender, but she's, she's good on that end. So we're definitely going to make sure that we stay within our timeline of contingencies. So if in case anything happens during this process, um, her earnest money is not lost, but 
presenting more earnest money just really shows the sellers that we are very serious about our offer. Um, also suggested that she did a little bit of a higher option. We did $100 a day for three days, so $300 an option, which we also know um, if we don't make it past option period, which is um, three days, the buyer has the option to terminate, then she would lose that 300 If we get to the closing table, that money gets credited towards her. Um, another thing that I did with this one, um, which was a little tippy tip my mom taught me, um, for the title policy, a lot of people have been offering to pay like full, um, well, buyers are offering to pay full title policy and things like that. Um, I just decided, I said, you know what, hey, let's, let's go 50-50. I mean, I just had never thought about that before, you know, like going 50-50 on the title policy. Because uh, title policy can run you a couple of grand, um, I say less than 1% of the cost of the home. Um, so we offered to do 50-50 on the title policy. Um, and... Pretty much everything else was standard. We're not asking for any seller contributions. We did ask for a home warranty. Um, if they say no, that's you know that's nothing. We can always um, I can always do that for her as a gift or whatever the case. Um, so yeah, that was the first offer, and then the second offer was pretty much very similar. That house was asking three twenty five. We offered three thirty five, so ten thousand above. Um, the only reason, like, I didn't go as aggressive on the price point for this one is because she's not necessarily in love with the school district that the home is in. The first one hits every mark that she's looking for. This second one, um, she loved everything about the home, but just not the schools that it's zoned to. Um, but we, we did pretty much the same thing. $10,000 above asking price. Um, I still had her do the earnest money, the option. Um, of the 5000 and the 300 Um This one, they had put in the notes that they don't have a survey, so we just went ahead and put in the contract that the buyer will pay for the survey. 50-50 on po title policy again, and this house is a little smaller in square footage, so we did 450 for a home warranty. The other house, we did 500 because it was a little bit bigger, um, and home warranty policies kind of just go by square footage. Um no closing costs, doing a 12-day financing on both of them with a VA loan. I, that's all I got to say about that. Fingers crossed. Um, and then also something that I just, I, don't, I just kind of decided to do. Normally, like when you send your documentation and offers in the email, you just send it to the listing agent or whatever. But this time I actually decided to CC the lender on it because if you're a good listing agent and you get an offer, I mean, if you're really doing your due diligence, you're going to call the lender um, that wrote the pre-approval letter to really um, make sure that the client is qualified for the loan. So I just went ahead and CC'd Felicia, the lender, on both of those offer submission emails and put her phone number and things like that in there just just trying to do the smallest easiest not necessarily the smallest if it's big i'll do it too but just trying to make it you know very streamlined for the listing agent to see our offer receive our offer call who they need to call you know just putting everything out there i make these i type up these little summary sheets for them that I embed in the body of the email so they don't necessarily have to see. Let me show y'all. So this is the email. I go ahead and embed this summary sheet in there. I type a little something up at the top and then I embed this in here so um, they can just kind of have a quick overview of what the offer is instead of having to go through this, right? Like this is what's presented. This is everything that I send with an offer so blah blah so they would have to go through all of this to see all of what we're offering and asking and then which they should still do but you know just so they can just have a quick glance they i do the little um offer summary so you know it's really important of course my computer's about to die she'd be dying lately i don't know what's going on 
Um, but that's fine. You can die. I'm done for the night. It's it's ten oh two. Um. It's just really important to have a really good offer presentation. Like if you have a, if it's a, if it's a really good listing agent, they're going to appreciate a really nice put together offer presentation. I'm like, I'm trying to tell y'all if you're realtors or if you're working with the realtor, you know, just make sure they crossing all their T's and dotting all their I's, all that good stuff. Um, it just makes a difference. You know, it just shows that, you know, you're someone that kind of knows what you're doing and, you know, that it makes them want to work with you more because you, you, you look put together, basically. <laughs> and that's how I'm trying to present myself here. And I am tired. So I just wanted to update y'all on that. I'm going to call them tomorrow. I did send them both text messages earlier, letting them know that I'll be submitting the offer. But it's 10 o'clock at night now, so I'm definitely not even going to text them. I'll call them probably um, around noon tomorrow just to verify if I don't have a confirmation. But I'm still going to call them anyway um, just to verify that they received the offer and just reiterate everything that I typed um, and just try to build a really good rapport because, once again, it's not just about your client's offer. That it's, it, it should be, right? But truth be told, you know, Realtors really can sway their client's decision um, on which offer to pick, especially if a lot of them look very similar, which happens, right? Like when you're in multiple offer situations, you probably get 10 offers, right? Whatever, that look almost identical. So then, then what do you do? Then how do you choose? Because if the seller is going to walk away with the same net amount of money. Then uh, if the seller is going to walk away with the net amount of, <clears throat> so if the seller is going to walk away with the same amount net sales from five different offers, then what is the next thing that you choose? Or, you know, what is your next decision making factor? The realtor, right? Like me, who are they, who are you going to have to be working with over the next, month or so and y'all already know what i'd be going through so it's important <laughs> okay i'm really done talking now good morning good people today is sunday june 5th i just took my lashes off so my face looks a little empty with the makeup on um i'm up this morning um i just showed some lease houses now I have an event to run to, and then I have some more properties to show tonight. This lease client was referred to me by a family member, so that's always nice. Um, and yeah, so that's what's going on in the real estate streets. I s still haven't heard anything back from um, one of the agents that I sent an offer to. One responded this morning, confirmed that they received it. The other one has not. I sent a text message asking them to confirm. So we'll see if they follow instructions. Um, and then I'm going to go out and show that same client that I submitted applications for. Um, we have three other properties to take a look at today. Just, you know, just, y'all know, we got to keep our options open. So that is the plan for today. Right now I'm hungry. I'm trying to see how long it's going to take me to get to my destination. 31 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, y'all. All young right, y'all. Um, I'm back out. It's later on in the day, 5.40 p.m. And we just went and looked at one home. Um, very, very well. Very nice home. Looked great. But it just, she said it felt too small for her. I think it was a little less than... Um, 2,000 square feet. It was a one-story four-bedroom, so there wasn't any extra, like, living space, and she has um, two or three kids. So, we're on to the next two properties. Um, I did finally hear back from the other agent on the offer that I sent yesterday, and he said I should be hearing back from him soon, hopefully. Uh, I would love I would love to have an accepted offer, um, at least by tomorrow, 
Y'all know what I mean? Yeah. So let's keep looking at this. Okay. Rest. Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, June 6th. Um, I just got off the phone with Kiosha. She's a little nervous about um, this house buying process and price points and things of that nature. Um, spoke with her lender. She's currently working on getting us the offers, um, monthly mortgage breakdown and all that so we can talk to Kiosha about it. But in the meantime, I just called both of the agents that we submitted offers on and the one that Kiosha really, really likes, um, it sounds like they're definitely leaning towards our offer. Um, but he said his clients won't be back in until um, later this afternoon to consider. But he was like, you're the one with the VA offer, right? And I was like, yep, that's me. So I'm pretty sure, you know, that is, it's a standout offer. Um, and then the other offer, the second runner up home, um, I just called, he didn't answer. I sent a text. He called me back and they accepted our offer. But now I'm like, well, shit, I don't, you know, like for me, it's just like, you, you, I want to be as transparent as I can, but also protect my client. And because we are waiting on a response for another offer, um, I just told him, I was like, well, let me just double check everything, triple check. Um, that she's good to go. Um, so really, I'm just waiting for Felicia to respond, but I kind of do want to just go ahead and call her and told her that our offer has been accepted um, to see if I get like a squeal or whatever out of her. I literally just got off on 1020. It's 1040 now. Hey, I'm calling back. Hey. <laughs> so, I have some news. Okay. Your offer was accepted. Okay. <laughs> on the Forest Springs Lake House. So, what? the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, that's the one that we put the offer in for 335 um, the first uh -huh. one that you and Cece went to and you were saying that you love, you love, you love. Uh -huh. So that offer was accepted. I told him that we, I would let him know within the hour for sure if we want to move forward. Um, okay. Just waiting for um, Felicia, of course. I didn't tell him, you know, that you were considering another offer. We can get there when we get there if that one yeah. does get accepted. Um but, you know, one, I want you to be comfortable with everything. Right. Um, two, you know, once the offer is accepted and you, you like this house, right? I did like the house. Okay. Um, then, yeah, that's a house that, uh, you know, we should keep. Now, this is the whole point of the, the option period. We have those three days. Once we go, um, once we have an executed contract, they sign it, send it back, and we pay the $300, the earnest money. We have three days to decide if this is something that you want to move forward with or not fully. Um, so if the other house comes back and says, we've accepted your offer and you want to go with that one instead, then we can have the option to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got my dad. Oh, you serious. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It just broke in my heart. You told me that he was very sincere about how he had so many good offers, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. I was like, oh, I'm not even going to hear back from that house. You know, I was already kind of like, okay. Girl, don't be sleeping on me. We going to get these houses, honey. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, oh, yeah. Okay, but we coming in strong. Okay. Okay. What is she doing, sis? What is she doing? She made me miss my damn ride and 
Yeah, she's she's uh, I had her working on the other one first, but I need to go ahead and tell her. Uh, well, we just gonna let her do both. Yeah, let, let her just do her thing. Went on a fire truck and get her off, and then we can wait another day or two. Girl, Felicia knows she ain't got no day or two with me. Anyways, <laughs> but this is exciting. This is good. This this is very very good. <laughs> All right. So as soon as she okay. calls me back, we will we will make a decision. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Bye. Yay! Okay. We'll update y'all soon. Hey, Alexia. Hi, Joel. I just got in contact with her. She was out in the woods somewhere. Um, but we are all good, ready to go. Very excited. Thank you so much. Love it. Okay, well, I'll get this sent over to my folks, and uh, we'll, we'll get this executed today. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! You know what, y'all? I was just thinking this yesterday because I said to somebody, um, I said, I haven't done any resale homes all year. It's just been nothing but new construction. And nothing's wrong with that, right? Like, because as y'all see, like, even new construction can be a doozy. But I, I have always felt that you really don't have your realtor chops until you do a resale home and, like, you know, like, exercise that muscle of real estate. So, give me a few waiting on approval to use the program with a lower rate. We don't use that program much. Um, so, I was like, I was kind of feeling like, not down on myself, because I mean, you know, like, whatever. I've sold plenty of resale homes. This is not, but I was like, dang, this year I just have not sold any. I mean, honestly, a lot of my clients just prefer the newer homes um, and, you know, want to go through the build process. And it was just simpler, right? Like going through COVID and when interest rates were low and just the resale market was so competitive, like you could barely win offers. And it's definitely not as competitive as it was last summer or even the summer before. Um, but still, it's just, it's nice to know that I still got it. Okay, right. Hey y'all, today is the 7th of June. I'm headed to go get me some lunchy lunch. Um, next gen, we had our sales meeting today, yada yada yada. Anyways, I'm here to talk to y'all about something that I just learned because maybe it's always something to be learned. Um, so Kiosha, whose offer got accepted yesterday, remember? Um, she has a VA loan. I've done, I think, maybe three VA loans. Um, and this is the first time that I'm hearing about, um, this is the first time I'm hearing that with a VA loan, there are fees that borrowers cannot pay, like, it's just, I never knew because what this is more of a, a lending thing but how this falls over into my job is that um, when you're negotiating contract or when you're writing contract if I don't know that there's fees that she can't pay this isn't something that was negotiated in the contract for the sellers to pay so the lender she says, okay, so did, so are the sellers going to give any concessions? Because, you know, she can't. It's about $1,500 to $2,000, the fees that she can't pay. And I'm like, I've never heard of this. So not that I didn't trust her, but she wasn't exactly sure. She had to go verify with someone on her team. So just that, just that made me want to go, like, double, triple check for myself. Hold on, y'all. Chick-fil-A. Okay, y'all. So, anyways. So, not that I didn't trust her, but because she just had to double check, that made me want to double, triple, quadruple check. Um, 
So I got my mama. And she was like, yeah, she, I don't think she does that many VA loans either. And then, side note, this really also makes me want to um, go go to, thank you. Um, this just really makes me want to go, when did I put that sign right there? <laughs> um, get my VA, VA, um, certification right or designation um, so in real estate you can take all these different classes and get certain designations that means that you've went through training on da 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 honestly I don't have any because they're not needed right it's it's just like I don't know you know because most people that are looking up a realtor like they're not gonna look to see like what designations you have and what you've been trained in and specifics of real estate and da da da. But in cases like this, it's good because at least for myself, I would have the knowledge. So my mama didn't really know. Um, I called another lender, um, and he said, "Hmm." He said the only thing, only fee I know that they can't pay is their. Um, termite inspection or whatever like they're not supposed to pay that which was another thing that was kind of like wait what um so then I called my stepdaddy <laughs> because my stepdaddy I know he more so focuses not more so he does commercial real estate he hardly touches residential hardly hardly touches residential I think the last time he touched residential was maybe like a year or two ago because one of his commercial clients that he has a great relationship with wanted him to help him purchase a residential home but I guarantee my mom would probably did all the contracts anyway I called him because he is a veteran one but he was also the president of the Houston veteran uh, real estate board right so I don't even know if he's still on I don't know and that it doesn't matter I called him because I know he would know what I needed to know so he so I called us said junior da, 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 da. he said yep I said really he's like yep I'll just I'll send you the list of fees that that can't be paid so he just sent it to me it's his whole list I said well dang <laughs> so now I have to figure out um how to go back to the agent to basically get the seller to pay these fees luckily thank god luckily um this well you know it really wouldn't have been that hard honestly it wouldn't have been too hard but um we can um i can either negotiate with them to for now for the buyer to just pay the full title policy and um they give us seller concessions towards the fees or we can just add you know another fifteen hundred dollars to the offer price maybe i guess and um have them give us you know fifteen hundred dollars in concessions so i've talked to y'all about that i haven't talked about it in a long time but basically it's like a wash right like we give them more on the front end they give us the cash on the back end so, yeah, that's hey, that. good people. I love my watch at home, and I feel so naked. But today is the day after yesterday, July 9th. June! June 9th. Um, I just went and showed the lease property with the problematic current tenants. It looks like they're moving out. There was, like, no, no furniture in there at all. They just had, like, a mattress on the floor in the primary bedroom. So, hopefully, they'll be vacating much sooner than later this is the first time i went by and they weren't there but anywho on the way home i decided to stop off at sharon isaac's house um to see where we are with constru construction we have a june 30th i think close date so let's take a so look. i don't know if you all remember or not but the last update we got was them um having a delay in the brick arriving so the brick ar arrived i think last week thursday um so about a week ago so now as you all can see the house is bricked they have a driveway the last time i was here there was no driveway so now here's the driveway 
um, sidewalk, all of that. So I'm gonna go inside and just see what it's looking like. Top of the morning, top of the morning. So it's Saturday, uh, June 11th, and I'm headed to go show the lease house. We still have not leased it out. Uh, I showed it a couple days ago to a couple. They really liked it, um, but they were in town from Illinois and they didn't have all their documentation that's needed to submit the application. So until we get an application that suffices, gonna keep showing the house. Uh, but this agent literally just called me. She just called me. She just showed it this morning. Um, and I don't really think she was like trying to trip me up, but I don't know if she's trying, I don't know. But she was like, I just saw that um, your landlords don't accept pets. So, um, but my clients have a service animal, so can you call them and ask them if they're really willing to accept that? Sis, what do you mean? Will I call them and ask them? Like, <laughs> we cannot say no to a service animal, right? That's what the whole ADA Act is for. Like, you cannot discriminate against the American Disability Act. Like, a service animal qualifies for that. So, a pet and a service animal are two totally different things, right? Emotional support, all of that, like, those are different than just your your pet. So I said to her, I said, well, ma'am, if, if it's a true service animal, you know, like, you know we can't literally say no to that. Like, just upload the documents that are needed Just upload the documents that are needed um, to support that this animal truly is a real service animal. Because you know, people be people be doing the tricks and things and buying things off the internet to make their pets be emotional support animals and service animals when they're really not. So if they really have those documentations and if they really do like the house, they just need to apply and um, we'll go from there. I'm like. And she's laughing. She's like, yeah, I know, but I just want to make sure. And I'm like, you ain't about to catch me and my client up talking about, no, we ain't going to accept no service animal. I ain't new to this, sis. I am not. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, but I'm about to pull up now to the house. So, oh, little kitty cat. I'll let y'all know what happens. Good people. I came back to share in Isaac's house to just look at some discrepancies that we found the last time. Um, and we emailed the builder about it. And since I was over here, um, they fixed it, the paint. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't wrong. Um, we were talking about the paint color on the cabinets weren't the selected colors, but it was just primer <laughs> on the cabinets in the bathrooms. So they were painted the right color, but at least we called them out on that beforehand. And then now there's one other thing that I see that we're gonna have to bring to their attention. And it may be the same thing that they're gonna go back and finish it, but I doubt it. The backsplash in the kitchen is supposed to be up to the ceiling, but right now it's not. So I'm gonna send them that email and make sure that they know that's supposed to be all right vlog hello welcome back to another day today is june 13th monday um i'm at east houston and we are taking a company picture today so we'll see how long this takes to get done it's supposed to start at 10 it's 10 06 right now i think there's some teams taking some pictures people changing clothes all kind of things going on so and i got things to do today Hopefully we're out of here by 1130. <laughs> we're lining up. Look, 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 look. This is gonna be so cute. I'll show y'all. I'm looking sweaty because it's hot outside, but I'm back at the lease property. The tenants have finally moved out. Let me show y'all the house. <laughs> 
All right, so entry, nice long entry hallway. You have your formal dining. You have a study to the right. Kitchen. This lovely rental does not come with appliances, so no refrigerator, washer, and dryer. I love this house so much, y'all. Like, I would buy this. And I ask her every time, I'm like, can I buy it? And she's like, no. <laughs> Dining area, your living space. The only thing I would do, I would come in and, of course, rip up this floor, this carpet. Um, this is my favorite thing about this one story. It has this double-sided fireplace, so you kind of have living area here, and then this could just be like a nice den or whatever. Here's the primary bedroom. It's such a good size. You have one closet up front here. I could probably make this like my shoe closet. Bay windows. Um, and then the walk-in closet uh, is still a really good size, too. I could do some built-ins in here, put a nice little fan chandelier. And then, you know, eventually upgrade this sink area, but you still have your double vanities, um, jacuzzi tub, water closet. Is there storage in here? No. So just water closet. And then walk-in shower. Love that. And then on this end over here are the other two bedrooms and utility room. So your washer and dryer would go in here and the tenants that were here also had a deep freezer in here. So floors just kind of need to be changed out. Bedroom, standard size bedrooms, pretty standard closet. This wallpaper needs to be torn down, of course. And then one more bedroom, y'all. And then a linen closet. So the layout of this home, I really like. Like, more than enough space. It's about 2,400 square feet, 2,466 2, square feet, I believe. Let me show y'all the backyard. So Ashman and Denver would have all the space they would require. You don't have any back neighbors. It's a detached garage, so you have storage in there. Yeah, that's the house. So no real covered patio, but you could do something with this and have somebody come and extend this and make this a covered patio if you want it. Well, I guess you still have kind of this part, but mm, you know. So I, just, I tell my client, I'm just like, if you don't want to lease it no more, you just want to sell it. I will buy it because this is the side of town that I love. This is like Jersey Village area, um, 1960 and 290 if you're from Houston. Um, gives you easy access to all the highways. You're not city city, but it's like, instead of like me having a 35, 40 minute drive from where I live, this cuts your drive to the city to more like 25, 30 minutes. This is 10 minutes away from um, my parents' old house. So I love this area. I just wish you would let me buy the house because the cabinets and all of that are good. They just, I would probably paint them, you know, just, I would love to come into this house and just, I would love to come into this house and just make it my own. But, that's not what we're doing, we're leasing it. So we actually are currently processing um, two families applications. Um, so we'll probably actually have it leased out, hopefully by Wednesday, um, but some other person wants to see it. So until we have an approved application, I'm gonna keep showing it. So the morning, that. top of the morning. Today is blue tape walkthrough day for Keneal. Is Keneal here? This has been pushed off about two weeks. We just got an email this morning that they pushed back her closing date four more days. It was supposed to be, she was supposed to originally close yesterday. 
I think, or today, yesterday, today. They're delayed on the build. So we're supposed to close next week, Monday. Literally just got an email like an hour ago that they pushed it back to next week, Friday. So, uh, is this our house? Uh, one, three, four, yeah. I'm here to do the walkthrough, the blue tape walkthrough with DR Horton. We'll see how it goes. As you all can see, something happened here. Here's the house, it has a cute little blue door. Um, let's go inside. It was the last time we were here, there weren't any floors or anything like that in. This is a good size room. Carpet feels nice and soft. Floors look good. Secondary bathroom. I like the grout on that tile. Gives it a nice pop. Study. It has a closet. Good, good. The entry to the garage. Yep. So utility room, coat closet. Where's my shoes? Oh. Okay. Dining area. And then we have two more secondary bedrooms here. These bedrooms are actually really good sizes. Identical bathroom to the one up front. I wish they would bring this tile all the way up, but you know. And then another bedroom. Okay, this one's a tad bit smaller, but still really nice. And we have the kitchen. Good size island, lots of space. So. Closet, then the primary bedroom. Ceiling fan, ceiling fan is blowing, it's feeling good. And then bathroom, water closet, stand up shower, soaking tub double vanities. This is a cute fixture. Simple, but cute. Um, oh, it sounds like my client's here. And the walk-in closet. So, let's go talk to Camille. Good morning. Top of the morning. It is the middle of June, June 17th. Says 6.50 in the morning. I am headed right now to go meet Sharon Isaac. Um, that's not their actual walkthrough of their house, but we're doing a walkthrough with the builders. They've been kind of periodically um, doing walkthroughs throughout this build time of their home. Um, this past week, we kind of had not even real, like, no real huge issues. Um, but, you know, I mean, Buyers buying their first home, regardless of price point. This one is, you know, almost almost half a million. Um, they're you know just very particular <laughs> about making sure things are getting done, and then their selection choices are available. So last week, um, I think y'all went with me, <laughs> and we went in, or that was either earlier this week. Today is Friday. Um, we went and looked at the house to see where you know everything was. Um, the tile, the backsplash in the kitchen was supposed to go to the ceiling. That wasn't completed. Some shelving in a linen closet wasn't correct. Um, just little things like that. And I believe all of that has been corrected. But what transpired after that was the garage door that they selected for the home um, is out of stock, basically, from whoever their supplier is. They don't have the one that they chose. And they're really going for a very contemporary look on the home. So they chose a contemporary garage door. Um, 
but they don't have it. So that is one thing we're gonna try to figure out today. They pretty much only have one choice and it just doesn't really give them that contemporary look. So we're gonna figure out if maybe they can get a temporary door until it says, they were saying it's like a 30 week, um, 30 week time frame for them to get in the actual door, which, you know, we can't do, we can't do that. We can't, we can't wait for a garage door for 30 days. Like, I mean, for 30 weeks, like nobody's waiting for a garage door for 30 weeks. So that's not an option. But, and then there was some sprinkler system thing going on. I think originally they had decided that they were going to um, do like a, just get another company to install the sprinkler system because Perry's charge for it was pretty costly. Um, but I think now they've just decided to go ahead and let Perry do it. So it's just, honestly, it, it's easier to just let the builder do things so they can already have the sprinkler system, you know, installed and they can lay the sod and because they were going to want to have it done pretty immediately after the fact and, you know, sod still just, okay, sod, just issues, pricing and things like that. Um, it's just always easier for the builder to kind of do things like that. Like there are things that I will definitely say it's a better option to get it done, you know, after closing, um, you know, stuff like that. But a sprinkler system, if you have the opportunity to put it in during the build of your home, I would suggest doing that. I personally don't remember going over that. We might have, but you know, um, during the initial selections of the home, um, we probably did go over it, but we went over so much that that one might have just slipped by me because um, the buyers, they reminded me, they were like, yeah, we, we picked that when we we're doing the selections to do it after the fact because it was pricier. Um, I probably would have told them at that time to just let Perry do it because sprinkler systems, getting those installed irrigation systems are expensive. Um, so anyways, yeah, so we're headed to the house, go do this little, I don't know, check-in, I guess, with the superintendent, the builder, and then I believe next week we'll actually have the third-party inspection um, scheduled. Then they've done, this will be their third inspection on the home, so they did the, the pre-pour inspection of the foundation. Um, then they did the framing stage inspection and then now this will just be the final inspection like we do on pretty much all other homes. So I haven't even met their inspector um, so I definitely want to make sure that they let me know when they're scheduling that and I can go talk with the inspector um, like I like to do for all, all the builds. Um, what else do we have going on today? I have <coughs> I have um, a lease lead that I got called off of the crazy tenant house. <laughs> oh, BTW, that house has been leased. Hallelujah. We signed all those documents and everything yesterday. Um, so I got a lease lead off of that. They called inquiring about that home. And of course, it's leased. So now I'm going to go meet up with them um, around 1130 and show them some lease properties. Um, I have some things to do for next gen. Tomorrow is our Juneteenth event. And I've kind of been um, heading that. So, got a lot of stuff to just make sure everything is together for the event tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's really it for work. So, I got two leases closed yesterday, actually. So, the lease that I had listed um, is closed. And then another lease client that I had that my aunt referred to me, um, we got her application accepted on a property and I just sent out the lease agreement this morning back to the listing agent. So that's really good. Um, and then Camille, y'all saw Camille's house earlier in the week. We should be closing on that next week, Friday. And then 
Cher and Isaac will be closing on them on the 30th of June. Um, what is the 30th? Is that a... That's a Thursday, I think, right? Because the first is a Friday? Yes. So, we'll have two closings this month as long as nothing is continuing to push back. And um, two leases. So, that's good. <laughs> feel like I'm working and, and producing. That's what really matters, y'all. Anyways, I will check in with y'all later. All right. It's 3.30. I have four lease showings to do today. And I swear I've shown this house before. All the way in Katy, but I know I've shown this house. All right. My client is not here yet. But I'm going to go in. Y'all want to come with me? All right, y'all, still on the road. Just had cyclones with some of my next-gen um, colleagues. Oh, love cyclone and ice. Anyways, I am headed now to meet up with Sherry and Isaac. They have their final home inspection today. So y'all know I prefer to be able to meet the inspector there towards the end of the inspection and walk through his findings, if any findings at all. Um, so we're headed to do that um, and then Thursday will be their blue tape walkthrough with the builder, the superintendent, uh, the, with the builder um, and then we close next week Thursday so really we could be closing sooner and I'm kind of tempted to ask them like can we close sooner? <laughs> can we can we just go ahead and if we don't really have anything else to wait on the only thing we would need to do is get on the title company's um, schedule why, why can't we do that? So we'll see how things go after today's vlog and I'll ask them if they're interested in doing that so just in traffic it's not even traffic just it's just a whole bunch of roads on so what they need to do is take wet concrete and just smooth it over and make it look pretty all the way around the slab. Okay. You get it? Yeah. Let me show it to you. I know what you mean. Okay, yeah. You call it honeycomb. Sorry. Good morning. Happy June 24th. Friday. 24th, yeah. Today is closing day. I'm getting a lipstick on my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Today is closing day for Camille. Um, we are headed to go do her walkthrough, her final walkthrough right now. Um, and then we go to the closing table. This was an easy one, y'all. If y'all remember, um, I think back in January or February, she called. She was at the builder getting ready to sign her contract. And she was like, Alexi, can I put you as my realtor? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, I mean, that's just one of these, y'all. I, I can honestly say I didn't really do any work for this one, um, but it does balance out for the ones where I have to go hard on, okay? So, I'm going to go do her final walkthrough. We did her blue tape walk last week. They still had quite a bit of stuff to complete. Um, she was a little nervous about doing the walkthrough the morning of closing because she's like, well, what if things are not done? Um, but with Dr. Horton, you know, they, they're they normally really good at making sure everything is complete. I don't know why my GPS is wanting to take me that way when the house is this way. Did I put in the wrong address? Anyways, so we're headed there to go get this done. And yeah, let's go. We're back for the final. Um, yes, we are. Hmm. So we're walking the outside of the home and we're finding quite a few things that were not done um, since the blue tape walkthrough. <laughs> I um, am standing on the sidewalk because I got my heels on the grass and sweat. But he has a paint guy out here right now painting some missed spots on the house, like around the windows. I, don't, I know y'all will. Anyways, right up here, right there, 
the window sill is supposed to be painted and it's still silver. We had called that out last time. Where he's at right now in the garage, like it's natural wood around the garage. Of course it's painted, but it just had really big chunks and holes in it. So she asked for them to peel that, they didn't do that. So they're doing that right now. And then just some other little, very minor things in the house, but aesthetics, right? Just aesthetics. So we're just getting the aesthetics together. But as far as the home, everything is functioning and working um, great. We just want it to be aesthetically pleasing. That's all. Good morning vlog. Good morning. Today is Sunday, June 26th. I can't believe we're already like at the end of June here. But we are, and uh, I am out showing some new clients, some properties. I don't have a lot of time this morning to show them as much as I would want to show them. We're gonna look at four places. Just tell them to turn in this one. Or, yeah, okay, cool. Um, have to make an emergency trip to Louisiana because my mom lost her car key. Um, her and my stepfather went to the casino and somehow, some way, she misplaced their car key. So I have to go drive them. I have to go take them their spare. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna look at a few properties this morning with Maria and Quentin. This is a couple that I went to school with. Maria does my lashes whenever I get my lashes done. Um, and they're really not like in a rush rush. They're just trying to narrow down kind of area. Like I said, this is our first time going out. Their lease doesn't end until February of 2023. It's June. Um, but there is still a lot of new construction coming up and about that'll be ready kind of like towards the end of the year. Even some that were saying, you know, like, March 2023 and things like that. So we're just trying to see if we can possibly find something and get under contract for them and their time frame, you know. Um, so that's what we're doing today, y'all. Well, this well, is like the closets that I, like I dream this. of. I'll knock all this down and do like some Ikea, like yeah, personalized like, shelving. Yeah, some drawers and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is so cute. cute. I, that's, yeah. The yeah, bathroom, yeah. you still have your shower, Those. double vanities. This is a soaking tub, not jetted. The other one was jetted, but yeah. I don't know how big of a deal that is. So Water closet. Yeah. This first level layout is really nice. Yeah. yeah. I like Good. Thing. Did you just see the email that uh, Lord. Felicia just said? She sent out, I'm looking at I'm trying to make sure I'm reading, make sure this shit makes sense to me. You, did you, you saw it? What did she send? Did you? It's like the appraisal. Okay. So all that matters is that we made value. Yay! Yes. I see this say at 338. I'm like, well, we're going to pay 335. Does it make sense? Like, does it make no good? That means, that means you have $3,000 worth of equity in your home. <laughs> so that, that is very good. So that means you don't have to pay, like, any appraisal difference or anything like that. So remember, okay. we talked like the house was three twenty five. We offered uh -huh. the ten thousand over. Potentially, wouldn't uh -huh. have to make that difference if it didn't appraise, but it uh -huh. did appraise. So we're good. Perfect. So what? What are we waiting on now? After this was the last thing to be. That this is. I mean, yeah, this is the last thing. Um, she should be locking in your rate. Then she's gonna need to send you. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, your pre-disclosures, your closing disclosures. She has to send uh -huh. those out three days prior to closing, which tomorrow would be perfect. If or even if tonight, you have to sign those three days, and then we'll be closing on Friday, sis. Yes. So, quick question. Yeah. Okay. Remember how I, I think you told me this, or maybe someone else because you know everybody be putting their two cents in. Yeah. Remember how I was telling you that you're trying to do something. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Most people have been telling me, they was like, well, you know, I, Ernest, I have like my cousin buying a house right now, and I have a good friend that's buying a house. Mm -hmm. They said that Ernest's money it was like plus, like 1% down. I'm like, I don't think mine was like no 1%. Yeah, we, we went a little bit over 1%. 
Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, but that goes towards my closing. Yes, uh, yes, it still gets credited towards your closing costs. So okay. remember, like when we went over, everything is a negotiation tactic. So we paid, I think, thirty thirty four. How much? What did we do oh, for? I paid like five thousand. I paid like fifty three hundred to be exact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, so we did five for the earnest money. Yes. Okay. So, but so yeah, that fifty three hundred will be credited towards your final closing amount. Come um, on now. Yeah. So it's 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 not a waste of money. It's just like saying, hey, this I'm willing to pay a little bit more than the average typical amount people will pay for earnest money because I really yeah. want to show you that I want this house. Want this house, yeah. You know, and it it just depends. Like sometimes I won't suggest doing it. But your file was really strong and there wouldn't be any real reason, you know, for us to potentially lose based on your finances. Uh -huh. So I felt really comfortable doing it. Um, okay. And like, it's just like, like it worked out. It worked, it worked out well. It did, because I've been over here, I was trying to call Felicia, because, you know, sometimes she be dropping, she just be somewhere else sometimes. Yes. <laughs> hey, hold on, this is calling me right now. <laughs> okay, go ahead and talk to her. Okay. All right, bye. So Kiosha's appraisal just came back in and we are good. We are good. We are good. We're good. So um it appraised for 338,000. We offered 335, so that gives her $3,000 worth of equity in her home. That is awesome. It's dark in here, y'all. Sorry. It's it's hot outside in Houston, Texas. Light bill been expensive. We going to keep the lights off. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm excited. That means we can get to the closing table on Friday. Let me call the um, listing agent, see if he answers. It's 519 right now, June 27th. Joel is the listing agent. We haven't really done that much communication, very little, but he's been a nice guy. So I'm going to tell him this good news. Oh, he just said that he'll call me back in 15 minutes. Um, I'll just text him. Just wanted to let you know that the appraisal met value. Comma, we should have no problems closing on Friday. Bloop, that's that. I just, I love an easy, breezy transaction, y'all. That's it. Oh, he's texting back. Awesome. Capital letters. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, he's texting again. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. Good day. Today is June 28th. It's 11 a.m. I am at this Realtor Lunch and Learn with Avenue. Oh, that's in Spanish. And there we go. <laughs> so we're going to be learning some things today. Yep, let's learn. Hey, hey, vlog. It is Wednesday, June 29th, and I am headed to do the final walkthrough for the McKinnons. Glory be to God, the final, final, final walkthrough for them. So that is exciting. Um, and then we close tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you. <laughs> um, and then also, um, we did get the appraisal back yesterday. I think I gave y'all a little snippet of that phone call, but I didn't, I don't remember if I talked in much detail about it. But the appraisal came back. Um, overvalue at three hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars, so that's really good. Because remember, we, I think I did talk about this. We offered the ten thousand dollars over asking price to win that offer, which was really exciting. Um, so I'm happy about that. But Felicia was the lender was saying 
that we won't be able to close until Tuesday um, because they had to resubmit some things to underwriting and that would be a 48 hour turnaround. Every time they like submit something to underwriting, it takes underwriting um, 48 hours to review and you know approve or deny or whatever. So when I talked to them this morning, Felicia sent an email saying that we wouldn't be able to close until Tuesday of next week, which we're scheduled to close. The original closing date was July 1st, which is this week, Friday. She says July 5th um, as of next week. Um, but now we actually have the clear to close and um, if she can get out the initial CD today, we may potentially still be able to close on Friday, which would be really good. Um, but I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting for some last minute words. So we'll see. We shall see. I am over the moon. Get these two closed. Um, and I just got a pre-approval for another young lady working on another young lady. And working on another young lady three young ladies um, that have been onboarded in the month of june um, and just working on their process one was pre-approved but we may just have to wait a couple of months just for her to do some savings and pay down some credit card debt etc but anywho i'm here at the house to do the final walkthrough look at it looking all pretty it doesn't matter let's go and we are closing basket thanks to kiki so this one, congratulations to the McKinnons or just McKinnons, whatever works. Hmm. And then the sunsets, how about ours? We got the key. And then she got the rest of this house looking like a prom. I mean, this <laughs> It's giving realtor. Parent yeah. trying to show up, Lex. They trying. <laughs> try. Try. It looks good. Everything does. Hey, good people. It's closing day. It's closing day for the McKinnons, June 30th. <sighs> Papers are signed. Keys are in hand. Now we're headed to the house so they can go see their surprise. Excited! Okay, little driveway action. <laughs> okay. It look good, it look good. Yes, I did. You did amazing. That was too much. What's in there? I have no idea. What? Fixing the front end. Oh, look at that, man. Thanks, man. Just hurts me. Yeah, yeah, dude. Appreciate it. I should enjoy those, man. Those some. I'll be drinking it tonight. I'll be drinking it tonight. Who do all of this? Oh, my God. Turn up. Appreciate it. It looks dope. It looks dope. 